Alrighty, hey guys, welcome back. This is gonna be another tutorial. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try to go through everything that has to do with gold bullions in this video. Just um, from start to finish, give you guys all the information that I found out through playing the story, through getting to this point. And uh, yeah, you guys appreciated the other videos. So uh, decided to keep it going. Okay, so we're gonna go through uh, four steps. I have this written down, so I'm just gonna be kind of like, kind of like a script, right? So first thing first, I'm gonna talk to you about what to do before you can start getting gold bullions and start trading. I'm gonna do that. Second part is how to get treasury notes. Third part is how to trade notes to gold. And fourth part is how to use the gold. Now, let's start with before you start. How to get to the stage, you need to complete the main Wastelanders story. And you either need to choose the Raiders or the Settlers and you need to uh, raid Vault 79. Because once you raid Vault 79, you get to meet these people. I don't want to spoil it, but you get to meet these people that um, have all the gold. And they will let you pretty much trade with them for plans and schematics, you know, with the gold. So, that's number one. That's before. So once you complete the main story um, of Wastelanders, you're going to get some, you're going to get a good amount of gold to start off with, right? And you're going to pretty much um, start the process. Now, number two, treasury notes. So treasury notes is what you need to trade in for gold at specific machines. Like there's machines for uh, ammo and all the other stuff. Well, there's a machine for gold now. And um, you need treasury notes to pretty much trade that. Now, how do you get these treasury notes? Through quests and events. Um, okay, let's get out of here. I'm gonna try to make this um, as informative as possible. So there's an event down here, right here at the Big Bend Tunnel East. All you do is go there, you talk to, um, I forgot what his name is. He, he's one of the secret service agents, whatever. But you talk to him, he's right in the front of it. And it starts a quest, you pretty much, um, it's called Riding Shotgun. And yeah, very simple quest. You go through the tunnel, you protect the caravan. And you get, um, if you succeed, you get treasury notes at the end. Then you can also do the dailies at Crater and Foundation, like right here, talk to Ward. That's a daily, very simple. You get that. Or you can talk to talk to Ren at um, Crater and also do the daily. What I found is even after you pick a side, you can still do dailies on both sides, which is pretty cool, right? Still up your reputation with both. It's going to take a lot longer with the um, other faction that you didn't choose because you can only get it up by doing dailies, which is a very small reputation increase. But yes, you can either go to the foundation or the crater and do the dailies there. Very simple dailies. Usually just go get something, go kill somebody. Very simple. And then the other way is you go to the overseer's home and you talk to Davenport and he also, he's a robot right next to the overseer and he also gives you um, a daily quest you can do to get treasury notes. Um, and also they they said in the update, it's other big events. I don't know if they mean like these ones, like power up, um, you know, like the big ones. That, like the powering up, you have the one that spawns, uh, where does it spawn, right here? The radiation, the radiation one over here. Um, what else? Just the big ones, they said the big ones. So I don't know exactly what that means. They were very vague. I think over time people are going to find the best ones, but they stated that the big events also give you uh, treasury notes. So go try that out, see if it works. Yeah, but um, the ones that I told you, Riding Shotgun, the dailies at Foundation and Crater, and Davenport, they will always give you uh, treasury notes. Now, part three, how to trade notes to gold. All right, you can trade notes to gold at uh, two places. How's the, leg, Saul? the Crater getting there and the foundation and I'm gonna go to each one right now and I'm gonna just show you exactly where it's located at just to make it easy for you guys by the way while it's loading please let me know what other tutorials you want to um, pretty much me to do you know what I mean because I enjoy making these you know I learned through the process as well and you know so just let me know any other tutorials anything else you guys are um, confused about let me know and I'll find a way. Alrighty, so we're at the crater. Just go through the main entrance. Go. 
and this one is located inside the uh, the main building, the crater core. So just get in here, and the machine is right over here to your left. Press this. If you have treasury notes, you trade them in. It gives you gold back. Very simple. Now the next one is at foundation. Oop. Let's get there. Thanks for helping out Meg and the others. Means I don't have to. Okay. Alrighty, and this one is located not inside the core, but right next to it. I'm gonna show you what I mean. Just gonna go in the regular way. And pretty much um, go towards the entrance of the place that you know you get in. And once you do that, it's gonna be right here around the corner next to the um, Tinker's workbench and the armor workbench. Here's the entrance to the, um, the office, and it's right over here. Same same concept, treasury notes, you get gold back. Very simple. Alrighty. Now that we got that. Um, oh yes. Also, um, in Wayward, the bar that you go to, which is right over here. Once you complete the main story quest, um, if you go upstairs, there will be a vendor. I think his name is Smile. I forgot what his name is completely. But there's a vendor and he gives you pretty much uh, gold bullions for caps. And this is a weekly limit, they said. So, oh, and by the way, the um, the machines at Crater and Foundation, that's a daily limit. And at Wayward here, this is a weekly limit. Stairs, and he's sitting right here on the couch. Smiley, I thought it was smiles. Looking for gold bullion? Well, look no further. Say I'm interested. Wonderful. I only have so much on hand. You understand? And boom, as you can see, it says 50, 100. So it's so it's about a um, thousand caps per 50. Now. I think this is the weekly limit because it says give me all you have so I'm guessing the weekly limit is 300 that you can get from him for 6,000 caps so keep that in mind now part four um, is pretty much how to use the gold that you get what do you use it for schematics now where do you buy these schematics very simple there's three vendors on the map one is at foundation one is at crater and one is at Vault 79. I'm gonna go to each one, I'm gonna go through it together, and yeah, let's start with the crater. So who you're gonna be looking for is um, Mortimer, I think that's how you say his name. It's a robot, he's in the core. I'm gonna show you him, and I'm gonna show you what he's got once it loads in. Here, just the regular way as usual. Once you're in, he's right next to the other machine. I just wanted to go in order, you know what I mean? So I didn't mention him earlier, but he's right here. There's the gold machine, and he's right here. Talk to him. And this is pretty much all he has. I don't know if these change over time. Um, I don't know yet. It's too early to really tell. But this is all he has. It's it's very small. And you're, as you're going to see, the personal foundation even has less. But the Vault 79 one is the main one. But all right. So this is the crater one. Now let's go to 
the foundation one. And at the foundation, you want to talk to Samuel. I'm going to show you in just one second. So going just the regular way, and he's also not going to be inside the um, the core, the office, whatever you want to call it. It's this guy right over here. What the heck is it, John? The machine is right over here, like it was before, and he's right next to it. And he even has even less. This is all he has for right now. Again, I don't know if this is going to change. I don't know if every update they're going to change and put some more stuff in here. But yeah, this is all he pretty much has. Now the big one is Vault 79. Now it's all the way up here. Uh, what's it called top right corner and um so at first when you do the raid you're going to show up here and you go through and all that but once you're done they're going to give you an elevator entrance which pretty much goes right into um where you could meet all the what do you call them the secret service dudes or whatever and they'll sell you the gold so you, this is the entrance right here so you might not have found it on your map yet, but pretty much go to this location right here. It's right next to the Fissure site and the Bailey family cabin. Go there, and there should be an this. elevator. I'm gonna show you. All righty. Here's the elevator. You just have to press, uh, press this. Get in the elevator, go down, and now you're going to want to talk to Regs. Find the guy Regs, and he will give you pretty much all the good loot. Let's get out here. As you can see, it's a nice little vault. I like this layout. I really enjoy this. Um, Very nice. But okay, let's get back to it. So this is the guy Regs, so if you uh, exit the elevator, Pretty much exit the elevator from here, take a left, and he's usually in this area, usually sitting down, like he's about to. Now, trade him, and he has all the good stuff, the really good stuff, you know what I mean? You got the Secret Service, what is this, Power Armor, you have the one that used to be in the Vault Raids, pretty much all the good stuff, to be honest with you, you know, new weapons, all that, but yeah. Hopefully, this um, this was a good tutorial, kind of just bring it all together, you know. And yeah, let me know what you guys think. Let me know uh, what else you guys want help with. I'm always happy to help. I'm always happy to, you know, create these videos. I enjoy them. I enjoy that you guys enjoy them and, and that you support me. And yeah. I don't know what else to say. Thank you for watching.